Hi YouTube, it's Kathy. Happy Vlogmas. Recently I've decided I'm going to teach myself the Dewey Decimal Classification. And this is mostly because I work in a library and sometimes people ask me, hey, where's the biography section? Which I can tell them is in the 920s because I shelve a lot of biography. Or where are the cookbooks? 641. That's where all the food is and if you want something specific like vegan, it's 641.5636. But other than the things that I shelve very often and then therefore have kind of committed to memory, I don't really know the system very well. So I picked this up, you guessed it, from the library. I haven't gotten very far through it yet because I've been working a crap ton, but there are a few things I have noticed just in the initial classifications that I wanted to point out. Because I already knew that Melville Dewey was kind of a dick, but here are some reasons why. If you're unfamiliar with the Dewey Decimal System, it's broken up into sections of 100, and then it's further broken up into sections of 10s, and then it gets more specified from there. In fact, all of the numbers after a decimal point will generally mean something, I just haven't gotten as far as to figure out exactly how to figure that out on my own. Like I said, this is really early in my process of learning, and if you have any tips on how to learn, please let me know. Because I know at least one librarian that I'm pretty sure watches my channel, and probably maybe two librarians at least. One of the things I wanted to point out and why Melville Dewey is kind of a dick and this classification system is kind of a joke is the 200s. Religion. Now, like I said, it's broken down into 10s, so the 200s, the 210s, the 220s, the 230s, the 240s, the 250s, the 260s, the 270s, and the 280s are all different variations of information about Christianity. That leaves the 290s for every other religion. Just... no. Just... no. Another thing I immediately noticed is in the 900s. Now the 900s you have things like geography and history, and I already kind of knew that the 940s is where European history was, mostly because recently I've shelved a lot of World War II books. So you have the 940s for the history of Europe, you have the 950s for the history of Asia, you have the 960s for Africa, you have the 970s for North America, you have the 980s for South America, and then you have the 990s for all other areas, and this is history of. So just screw you, Oceania and Antarctica. I mean, the 930s are is the ancient history of certain places, so couldn't you have just put the ancient history within each of the classifications for the different continents? I mean, I know that continents aren't really a thing and they're just a construct, but really all other areas instead of, you know, Oceania and Antarctica. Even putting in Oceania and Antarctica would have been preferable to all other areas. Something else I notice is there's just nothing in the 40s, but this makes a little bit more sense to me because I'm assuming, although I haven't checked this, that he built in some numbers that just don't have anything, that way the system could expand over time when there's new things to write books about. And that makes perfect sense, I'm pretty sure there wasn't anything under 004 until, you know, computers came along because that's where computers are. In any case, that is just my mini rant at the beginning of learning this system. Do you know the Dewey Decimal System? If so, let me know how you learned it down below so I can figure out how to do this by myself. Also, if you know it, do you have a favorite call number? Let me know about that down below. If you don't know the system, that's perfectly acceptable. Not everybody's a giant nerd like me who just decides they're going to learn a classification system for funsies. But let me know about your favorite recent non-fiction book down below. And I will see you tomorrow for more Vlogmas. Bye!